to the Kin Kitchen Makeover. This is part two where we're setting everything up. So we've already decluttered all of the spaces, the drawers, the pantry, the fridge, and now we've restocked the fridge and pantry. And we wanna show you how to set up a kitchen for efficiency and for inspiration to really make you wanna get in there and create some healthy, delicious recipes. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna first talk about some of the ways we store our, fo our food. And then we're gonna get into some of the essentials in the pantry and in the fridge, things we just wanna make sure we definitely have on hand. Yeah. So should we start? Yeah, okay. let's do it. So we've got some mason jars here. Mason jars are so useful for storage, for dry things, for wet things, whatever. Um, they seal things in really well. You can label them, you can see what's in them. Yeah. So it just helps to make a nice efficient space uh, in your pantry or in your fridge. We use a few different um, methods for labeling. You can choose yours. <laughs> we like this um, glass pen, because you can write on your glass and it washes off super easy. It looks very pretty. Um, you can go with the old Sharpie and tape. That's always easy. And it's nice to not only label your food, but maybe also date it if there is an expiration on it, so you can see that really easily. Yes. Uh, Laura also has this amazing label maker. You might have an old school label maker that you can use as well, where you can actually type in what the food product is and then print it out and stick it on. Mm -hmm. So you choose your method, um, but all this just really helps to make an efficient use of your space. So should we get into the spaces and let's check out the pantry. <laughs> In the pantry, what I've done is I've organized different food products together for ease. And you can find really handy baskets or little bins and things that you can add a label to. So for example, I've got all my baby stuff in one basket. Up here, I've got the pastas and the grains in another. And um, some of the rice and stuff, I've gone ahead and transferred it into a glass jar with the little label written on there with that white glass marker and then I've kept all of my oils my nut butters and vinegars and stuff together in another basket all of the canned goods are kind of lined up easy to see and grab and um, I've also got all of my nuts and seeds labeled and ready to go here. It's like my very own bulk barn in here. <laughs> so you can see that it's really easy to really visually see what you wanna grab. I, I can see that there's flaxseed in this glass jar. I wanna add that into my smoothie. Um, and then down below, I've got all of our baking stuff together. So again, I could just easily grab this whole baking basket out and take it out with me when I know I wanna get in the kitchen and create something delicious. And yeah, it's just about, it's really about just setting it up in the way that works the best for you and kind of organizing certain food items together. So you can just, if you know you're looking for an oil, you just go to that spot and you'll find it here. All right, so we've pulled out some essentials from Laura's pantry and fridge. These are items that we must have in our kitchen in order to prepare for a healthy week ahead. Yeah, so it actually starts with an abundance of fresh fruits and vegetables. So you really wanna make sure you load up the fridge with all of the colors of the rainbow to ensure that you're getting some really good dense nutrition from all of those colorful fruits and veg. And then we have our various different sort of grains and pastas that we use as pantry items. That's just to make something like a quick, easy pasta meal that you'd add a bunch of fresh veg or herbs to, things like quinoa, wild rice, and then a variety of nuts and seeds so that you can use these in baking or to make your own homemade granolas or for sprinkling on top of a salad. Mm -hmm. And then we, of course, have different nut butters. I've pulled out the almond butter here because I use it in a lot of different recipes, like different dips and in my smoothies, as well as on a nice slice of toast. Mm -hmm. And then some of the condiments. So we've got an olive oil that we're using and a ghee, and we pulled them out as essentials because olive oil is versatile in that you can use it for some light sauteing, but you can also use it to dip some bread in. You can use it in a salad dressing. It's really rich in those omega get nine fatty acids. And then the ghee is a really great uh, way to bake and do any high heat cooking. Um, it's just a really nice stable fat to use that for. And then our apple cider vinegar and our balsamic vinegar we use in a lot of marinades and our dressings. Yeah. Um, and then we've got some tamari back here, which 
is a much better option than soy sauce because it's just higher in protein, has way less preservatives in it, it's a richer source, and that's amazing for marinating all sorts of things. Mm -hmm. uh, we've thrown our nutritional yeast in. It's a bit of a, like a magic vegan food product, um, but it adds a nice umami, sort of cheesy flavor to a lot of our dishes and dips. Mm -hmm. And then back behind us, we've got most of the baking and canned goods. Um, so for baking, you want to make sure you have a variety of flours, both for gluten-free baking and for whatever else. Maybe you make a sourdough loaf, so you want some wheat uh, flour too. Baking soda and baking powder, cocoa powder. Um, now, cocoa powder is so great not only for baking, but also some elixirs or um, hot drinks. Making your own chocolate. Mm, or chocolate. <laughs> um, and we use natural sweeteners, so we like to choose raw honey, maple syrup, maybe a coconut sugar if you need a granule, or even medjool dates. So using the sweetener in its whole form is obviously the best because you're getting all those nutrients and fiber in with it. Um, rolled oats are something we also use in so many ways. All of these ingredients are just so diverse, so it's not just for one thing. That's why mm -hmm. we're pulling them out. Um, and then some canned beans are always handy to have if you want to make hummus or you want to add them quickly to a soup or a salad. And we like some canned tomato sauce or crushed or diced tomatoes are good. And maybe some dried um, legumes. You can choose yours. We like uh, one for dal, mm -hmm. nice and handy for soups. Yep. Yeah. So these are our essentials. Yes, and next in our third part of the Kin Kitchen Makeover, we are gonna get down and dirty in the kitchen with you and show you how we set up a week with some different meal preparation using a lot of these uh, food ingredients and items. See you there. See you there. Hey everyone, thank you so much for being here. If you're enjoying what we're sharing, please give us a like and you can also subscribe to this channel below. And if you wanna follow us along on this journey, you can find us at kin.co or on Instagram at kinsite.